In this video, we're going to show you the new RailPro control system. At Ring Engineering, we created the easy to use and powerful RailPro model train control system because we believe you should spend your time having fun with your model trains and not learning cryptic programming of variables, memorizing what function buttons do, and other complexities required by the typical digital control systems. Unlike typical DCC systems that are based on 20 year old technology, RailPro is based on new technology. In addition to ease of use, RailPro's direct radio adds simplicity and capabilities that are only available with the RailPro system. Direct radio adds two-way, high-speed wireless transmission to locomotives and other products. Direct radio is dramatically faster than DCC's through-the-track communication and is an important improvement in model train control. Soon we're going to show you some of the great features of RailPro and how easy it is to set up and use. But first, let's see a short clip of RailPro in action. Setting up a RailPro system is simple as one, two, three. First step is to install the locomotive module. Start by removing the locomotive shell. This is RailPro locomotive module with direct radio built in. It is a standard nine pin plug that can be plugged into DCC ready locomotives. This locomotive has an eight pin DCC plug, so we're going to use a readily available eight to nine pin adapter harness. Then we're going to plug the RailPro locomotive module in. If you're going to use a speaker, all you need to do is solder two wires to the speaker and then plug it into the supplied connector. To finish this installation, you need to reinstall the shell. This locomotive is now RailPro ready. The second step is to connect the power supply. To connect the power supply, connect one wire from each track rail to the each power supply terminal. If you only have one power supply, it does not matter which wire is connected to which rail. Plug in the power supply and turn it on. The last step is to find products. Power up your new product. In the case of a locomotive, place it on the track to power it up. As you can see in the locomotives page, currently there is only one locomotive. Press the Find Products button. The handheld controller has located a new product and is retrieving a picture from the locomotive. That is it. This locomotive is ready to use. Now we'll go to the locomotives page and begin to control this locomotive. Making adjustments to your products such as your locomotive modules is both simple and fast. For example, to adjust the sound volume, simply go to the adjustment screen, touch the picture of the speaker, and turn the control knob. Real-time control adjustments are just another example of why direct radio is so important to the RailPro system. Those who want more control can go to the advanced adjustments. In the advanced adjustments, you can change the start speed, top speed, acceleration, deceleration, and much more. Also, the units of adjustments are standard units that are easy to understand, such as 0 to 100% or 2 to 10 seconds, and not some obscure number of counts like found in typical DCC systems. Because of Direct Radio's two-way high-speed communication, you could see the current values instantly and make adjustments quickly. When you buy digital control systems to run your trains, you'd expect to be able to easily run different manufacturers' locomotives together so you can pull longer trains. This is common in real practice and is known as consisting or emuing. Consisting is one demonstration of how important Direct Radio is to RailPro. RailPro's use of new technology and direct radio make running different manufacturers' locomotives with even different motors and gear ratios simple. 
All you need to do is run an auto setup for the motor and you're ready to link locomotives together. The RailPro auto setup takes just a few seconds. In order to consist different manufacturers locomotives together in a typical DCC system, you can set over 30 control variables per locomotive and that can take many hours. At Ring Engineering we just don't believe it's reasonable to ask customers to go through so much. So let's see how easy and well RailPro works. First, we couple locomotives together. In this case, we back up the lead locomotive until it couples with the follower locomotive. Then press the link button and touch the picture of the lead locomotive. Notice the screen displays select locomotive number 2. Touch the picture of the next locomotive. Continue selecting locomotives until all the locomotives to link are selected. Finally, press the done button. Now these two locomotives are linked and ready to run. That was simple. Changing either locomotive speed or direction will affect all the locomotives that are linked. To demonstrate how well RailPro linking technology works, I'm going to show you how two very different locomotives run perfectly together. We have an Athern F engine and a Cato SD90. These are about as different running as you can get. For one thing, the Athern takes a lot of throttle to get it started, and the Cato takes very little. The Athern will run at a top speed that is nearly twice as fast as the Cato. To make it even worse, we're going to put the faster Amtrak locomotive in the back. And off we go. Notice the coupler stays tight and the motor sounds are smooth and powerful throughout the speed run. The reason is because the lead locomotive is monitoring its pulling power and using direct radio to send the information back to the follower locomotive. And the follower locomotive is matching the lead locomotive in pulling power to make a perfect consist. All this direct radio stuff happens without you even knowing it. Demonstrate that the lead locomotive is commanding the follower locomotive to pull with the same power and not just run at the same speed. I uncoupled these locomotives and I set down the throttle. Notice what happens when I increase the load on the lead locomotive by restricting its motion. The lead locomotive commanded the follower locomotive to pull harder, causing it to speed up. If the follower locomotive were coupled like it should be, it would have just pulled harder. No DCC system will do this because no DCC system has the new load sharing technology invented by Ring Engineering or Direct Radio. This new technology in Direct Radio gives RailPro a major advantage over DCC. The very high speed communication of Direct Radio is required to link locomotives like RailPro does. Setting up locomotives to run with the cab reverse is also simple. First we link the locomotives as we usually would. Then we can press the MU button to view the individual directions of the locomotives. We can adjust the directions by touching the direction arrow buttons. It is now ready to take off with the follower locomotive running cab reverse. To run locomotives separately, uncouple them, press the unlink button, and drive away.